former England international, a World Cup winner, Rachel Burford alongside me, who called all of the action yesterday. What did you make of a thrilling day? Superb teams. And kicking off day two is Colombia versus Mexico. Day one, you're fresh, you're ready. And it all comes down to now, moving on from that, who's got it in the legs and who's got the fitness to be able to come out the blocks early? Well, for Mexico, watch out for number nine, Zoe Tuyu. She grabbed her own slice of Mexican sevens history when she scored the first and only ever World Series try against in 2016 when the series went to Atlanta. No longer a stop on the series. But that's just a taste of the geography of one of the most fated competitions around the globe. Here they come. Colombia versus Mexico. This one is set to be tight. It's set to be competitive. And having spoken to one of the Mexican main men in the backroom staff, they are truly targeting this game. They see this Colombia match as a benchmark for where their team are and where they could progress to in years to come. To quote him, he said, to beat Colombia would be awesome. But they've got a tough assignment against those fired up girls in blue. So, the scene is set, and you just see there, Los Sapientes on the Mexican jersey, the Snakes. Well, instead of yeah. finding a snake, they're yeah, looking yeah. to find the ladder. Sorry, I had to put the mic on. Into the quarterfinals. Uh, you got it. <laughs> A few last minute technical I adjustments for our referee, right, ready? Mary Green, Pringle. Ready? Are you going left or right? Right, okay, I'll get out of your way. Blue, ready? Okay. And we're away on day two of this Challenger series. It starts with an error from the kickoff from Mexico. The ball not traveling the requisite 10 meters. Stop. And Zoe to you. I beg your pardon, Camilla Lopera, wearing nine for Colombia, calling for a scrum. Nice early set piece, Rach. Yeah, it wouldn't have been the start that, that they were looking for there, but you can see the intent. They want to get the ball back. They want to play. They want to take on Colombia, but now a real opportunity and a strike opportunity to get some of the speedsters on the ball early. Stay there. Yep, good. Nice, solid base to launch a strike, and Colombia put boot to ball. We saw it quite a bit yesterday. It's a tactic that they're looking to employ. Get the ball behind the opposition defences. And let their speeds to do the rest. Penalty to Mexico. Breakdown infringement. Attacking the line. Testing the defence. Muscular work. And nice hand. Looking for the edge. Here come Mexico. Down this right hand side in the hands of the captain. Landeros picked up and put down. Unceremoniously. Stay there, there, yep, where you are. And from that, the penalty. Superb tackle from so Soto there. Just gets underneath textbook tackle, which allows her teammate to come again onto the ball. Okay, quickly, quickly, please. So they opted for the scrum on the last one. This time they thought about going a little bit higher up the pitch. Green. See what their strike can be off Green, the line out. On the line, please. And I need one person in here. Wait, please. And I need one here. Come in, please. Come in. No, no. Green on the line. And blue, come in. Bit of reorganizing required of the line out. We've seen the scrum. Now for the aerial set piece. And Colombia ambitiously going to the back and finding their jumper. Nice drills and a great launch pad to seek space wide. They dance back inside the Colombians. Big fend coming out from Alzate. No release. And Colombia driving the tempo. Tapias, a really talented Tapias. Inspired by the great Tyler Nathan Wong. 
of New Zealand. Injecting a bit of creativity and it's opened up a channel on the left. Well, that is uncompromising carrying from Azuaga. Good passage from Colombia. Can they find the killer blow? They sure can. It's Valentina Alvarez opening the scoring on day two. How about that carry from Alguazuaga? Like a pimple, bouncing players off. Gets a team in such a strong position. It's so hard to then be able to recover defensively. Get yourself onside, connected up, communicating, and then the lovely short ball. All that possession amounts to some points on the board for them. Just looking after the breakdown. Bit of a fumble, but look at the short line, the power through. She gets tackled over the line, but it's a superb finish. A lovely shot at that short line and then weaving back in as well and finding a, a shoulder that was just soft enough to make it across the whitewash. The extras have been added by Mejia. Well, Colombia are enjoying playing in Mexico territory, yet to see the women in green break the halfway threshold into the Final Columbia second. half. A short line employed through the middle, this time by Mexico. And Mexico, they want to go quickly. Nice soft load out of the tackle. Bit of time on the ball and the confidence builds on the arc, throws out a fend, that's some offload. Slung back inside, great support. And a show and a go and a turn and pace. Zoe, do you? I told you to keep your eye on her. Well, the Colombians have blinked and they've missed her. First try to Mexico and a kick to come to equalize. Great composure from Mexico. All came from Avado's little one hand offload back inside which caught the defence napping. You picked her out at the start to you. Such a smart individual. Finds a bit of space. Just the response that you wanted to have. Here, quick rut, little show and go. There's nothing that Columbia can do. She pins her ears back. Great facials. As Great. always. Great response from Mexico. So we're at sevens with just over 90 seconds remaining. Two knock-ons. First by blue. Just one of those tricky wobbling kickoffs that are going to drop just inside the touchline on the retreat. It was an awkward one for Soto to take. Yeah, when you're backpedaling and you can see the opposition coming onto you, it adds all of that pressure. You could actually hear the Mexican players all calling up. In a line, big distraction, forces an error. Well, Mexico, they smell a second. Big, big, big space out on the left. They decide to go inside. It's smart hands. One more pass to get outside on the right edge. Who's going to pin their ears back? Alvarado takes it just... Just to the 22. He's release. The referee happy with the tap and Mexico in the ascendancy coming into the closing stage of the of this first half. Lovely dummy switch. Heavy challenge as well. Mexico with the numbers. Can they find the pass? The hands came free. But the tackle was too strong. A knock on on the hooter. That's half time. Seven apiece. Just as predicted, Rach. A tough, tough contest out there. Yeah, really tight contest. You can see the way that Mexico want to play. They don't really want to take the ball to floor. They want to keep offloading, really making Colombia, Colombia work hard defensively, trying to find those disconnects. Love to see them back themselves on the outside a little bit more. There's plenty of space out there. 
but Colombia have come through strong. They'll take a lot of energy from just defending that big set there. But it's all to play for in the second half. It does seem at times, Rach, that both sides are getting very narrow. We saw an opportunity right at the death there for Mexico on that left flag. I mean, it wasn't 15 metres, it was like 25 metres space, but they opted to weave back inside. You'd like them to take them on the outside and back their pace maybe a bit more. Absolutely. You want to try and stretch teams defensively, so go for the outside. You know, often in sevens, you can run sideways a little bit just to try and stretch that defence. And then the second time you come back across the pitch, you'll find some disconnects potentially through the middle. And it's hard going when you're with those defenders in the middle of the pitch and you've got to work from one side to the other. Those disconnects happen and that's when the gaps open. I'll tell you what, Berth, if there's coaches listening and watching at home with their young boys and girls and you've just said it's OK to run across the pitch, they're going to be tearing their hair out. I did say in sevens. <laughs> <laughs> the caveat. Well, keep watching because you're going to see some real speed merchants employing that tactic and a myriad of others, including the direct, the tough stuff that we saw from Colombia early in this first half. Mexico have shown great spirit as they have throughout this Challenger series, though. They found their equalizing try through their gun player, Zoe Tuyu. And that's why we're at sevens with the second half to come. Green, ready? Put a bottle, see? Perfect kickoff, right on the 10 meter line. Oh, it was precision. But a knock on and then collected by a Colombian player in front of the player who knocked it on means it's not just a scrum, it is a penalty to Mexico. And another chance to attack to you, showing, almost just seeing a slither of light to dart through. Good line speed from Colombia, suffocating the Mexican ambition. That was beautiful. Two defenders taken out, but a loose offload falls right into the grasp of Isabel Azuraga. And she won't find an easier finish than that all weekend. A real momentum shifting try from the Colombians. Yeah, great read from Azuaga there. She just gets in the eye line. She knows that they're going to try and keep the ball alive and offload it. Maybe that was part of the halftime chat to get in those passing channels. But she's been brilliant ball in hand. And then to just pick that off and read what they're going to do in attack. That's an excellent start for Colombia after the initial knock-on and penalty. But there, she knows that they're trying to move the ball away from the contact area. She just picks it off. Mexico just forcing things there. That'd be the start that Colombia wanted. Just like that, we're back in play. So we to you. She has always got... One eye on that gap, a peripheral vision, absolutely superb. But on that occasion, it's all about the breakdown okay, work coming in from Valentina Tapias. You okay? Time off. Okay, take a second. Exciting player, Tapias. Exciting with the ball in hand, but demonstrating her breakdown prowess on that occasion. Yeah, so often when one of your teammates chops down nice and low, the player's on the floor so quickly okay, as they're going down. She just allows the tackle to happen and then pounces on the ball. You do sometimes see that in the game of sevens. Just the defender lurking just behind the front line of defence, waiting with intent to clamp down as soon as the opposition player hits the floor with the ball. As soon as you see a player slightly isolated, you know that that's a shot and that's an opportunity. Think about possession in sevens. It's a lot easier playing with the ball in hand than it is defending. Well, a polite request from the Mexicans to keep an eye on the offsides. That's the way to do it. That's the way to massage the referee, shall we say. 
delicate conversations. Just reiterating it. Well, both both sides lobbying very politely. Both sides knowing what's at stake here. A victory secures third place in the pool. It gives that third place side an opportunity to progress to the quarterfinals. Points difference may become a factor, but they need to win it first. And that timely interception will help the Mexican cause. Brilliant tackle, real heavy low hits coming in. Backwards, backwards. Bringing the physicality to the slightly more diminutive Mexicans. And there's that big open side, or big blind side, I beg your pardon, that you were asking to be exploited. Manage. Good offload, a bit high. There was a small knock on there, but it's a forward pass before. And the Mexicans are offering plenty of variety in attack, okay, but. Say. The Colombian defence is fierce, isn't it? Yeah, second half, they've definitely been more dominant. You've not seen Mexico be able to get the ball away. The lovely interplay and, and offloads they were doing in the first half, being much more physical, wrapping the ball up, forcing them to play when they want on their terms. Definitely see a different intent from Colombia in their defensive efforts. Okay, ready? Crouch, bind, set. Nine, stay there, stay there, nine. Tackle. I can't remember the last time the play left this section of the field between the 22 and the 10 meter line. Colombia, take a step back in order to take what their hope it's more than two forward, and it is defences on top at the moment, although Mexico in fringe. Tempo being injected. Lopera seeking some of her bigger women around here. Here's the try scorer, Arzuaga. Important tackle from Salomon there on the edge. It is committed stuff from both sides. Is this the break? No, it's not quite yet, but there is support on the shoulder. A bang off the left foot and evading the last defender. Look at those celebrations from the Colombians. They can smell victory. They can just get that whiff and whiff victory. That chance to maybe, just maybe, reach the quarterfinals. Yeah, they're in complete control, aren't they? Just keeping the ball alive, being really patient with the ball in hand, not forcing the offload until the support there. You know, this is at the end of the game where legs and lungs are hurting and it's who's got more in the tank. That's a superb score there. Talking about being on shoulders, being aware. Just look at the leg drive, keeps it, doesn't give up, doesn't stop, and then finds a support on the inside. Again, players reacting to the ball carrier, not waiting out wide for the ball to come to them. And Manoz is straight over. And the celebrations, as deserved. Big tight embrace from her teammates for Valera Munoz. He plays her rugby for Copa Cabana Rugby Club. It's not a bad postcode, is it, for uh, them to be playing rugby in? If anyone's listening out there, they need a couple of players. I think we've got a couple here who wouldn't mind a, a trip to Copacabana. H2O girl, I'll be. <laughs> Time on. See. Final minute of the half, final minute of the game. Mexico need a quick score. But a fumble at the base under that pressure, that defensive pressure from the Colombians, which has been a marquee of this contest. Forces the knock on. And a scrub with 30 seconds to go. Colombia just have all the confidence now. Okay. The second half has been Bind. so dominant by them defensively, not allowing Mexico to get any rhythm. Cross. Or any fluid into their play. Hold the push and when they do the have the ball, the they're just suffocating okay. them. And keep your height. It's the 
second time that we've seen them force the play yep, and an error has come up. Crouch, bind, set. Well, the scrum reset will suit, yep, Mex will suit Colombia because Mexico have officially nice, run out of time. Ball's not out. From there, from there, from there. Come here. Sorry. Final play yeah. of the game. Yeah. Looks like this won't be being called just yet because Colombia take it to the touchline. They'll play one more from the line out. Girls, this is the middle. This is the middle. Consequenceless play this. They know that victory's in the bag. Okay, Colombia, make sure you're in before but the they ball also comes in. know that an extra try would do very nicely indeed when it comes to the points difference reckoning in classifying the third place finishes in each of our three pools. Here they come. Another seven points to burnish their points difference. Colombia in retreat. Advantage is over. Finding the outside edge. It's a tussle. It's a bend. And it's the pace. The gamble pays off for Colombia. They back themselves another try through Juliana Soto. Well, high risk, but high reward for Colombia. More points to potentially help them on their way to the quarterfinals. Yeah, it could be a really important score for them. The points difference, but brilliant work from Soto. She still had some work to do there with a player on her outside. Just gets the fending. And puts the afterburners on. Really strong, strong finish and strong game from Colombia, which they'll build on. So final score here. It is Colombia 28, Mexico 7. Colombia registered their first victory of their campaign here in Santiago.